Hello and welcome to the Scott Airpack X3 SCBA Quick Start video. The Airpack X3 SCBA was designed not only to meet the stringent requirements set forth in the 2013 edition of the NFPA 1981 and 1982 standards, but also to exceed customer expectations for how a SCBA should look and feel. End user feedback was incorporated into every step of the design process to deliver to you the next advancement in SCBA technology. At Scott Safety, we understand that you have many choices when it comes to your respiratory protection needs, and we appreciate your commitment to the AirPack SCBA product. In this quick start video, we will walk you through the following. Unpacking your new AirPack X3 SCBA, preparation for use, cylinder installation, basic donning, operation and use. Upon receipt of your AirPack X3 SCBA, please open the box to inspect the contents. Depending on how your order was configured, the SCBA will have been shipped either one or two per box. After removing the SCBA, please locate the literature kit attached to the SCBA back frame. In the literature kit, you will find the following items. Important warnings. Safety precautions for air pack cylinders. NIOSH CBRN approval matrix. Operating and maintenance instructions for the AirPack X3. Operating and maintenance instructions for the dual EBSS accessory hose. Operating and maintenance instructions for the pack alert distress alarm. Operating and maintenance instructions for the SEMS-2 air management system. POSI-3 USB functional test report. It is now time to prepare your AirPack X3 SCBA for use. Begin by removing the orange warning tag that is attached to the lower section of the back frame. Locate and remove the protective bubble wrap from the EasyFlow mask mounted regulator. If your AirPack X3 is equipped with a high pressure cylinder connector hose, remove the bubble wrap protecting the CGA coupling. Next, you will want to remove the rubber bands securing the waist pad and shoulder harness assemblies. These are used for packaging purpose and may be discarded once removed. Locate and release the seat belt buckle to separate the female and male waist belt. Loosen the shoulder straps by pulling back on the respective parachute buckle. Follow the same steps to loosen the waist belt. The AirPack X3 is shipped with batteries pre-installed in the Pack Alert sensor module. To prevent accidental discharge during shipment, a caution label is inserted between the batteries and battery cover. To remove the battery cover, use a large flathead screwdriver to loosen the battery cover screw. Reinstall the battery cover, but taking caution not to over tighten the screw. The lights on the console and sensor module will illuminate temporarily as part of the battery installation process. For cylinder installation, release the cylinder retention latch and slide the cylinder into position. Push the red locking tab to engage the cylinder valve hanger bracket. Once secure, Close the cylinder retention latch and adjust the cylinder retention strap as needed. For SCBA configured with a CGA connection, locate and thread the high pressure hose coupling onto the cylinder valve. For those SCBA configured with a snap change connection, engage the cylinder by pushing the cylinder connector into the pressure reducer firmly until both latch assemblies click and lock. If you have received a new AV3000 HT face piece as part of your purchase, we will need to prepare it for use. Remove the face piece from the plastic shipping bag and locate the cleaning and inspection instructions. Carefully remove the protective warning label from the face piece lens. Prior to use, it is recommended that the AirPack X3 SCBA be inspected for proper operation. The AirPack X3 SCBA has been designed with an emphasis on comfort and ergonomics. There are several ways to don the air pack depending on whether you are seated in the apparatus or in a standing position. In both cases, the air pack should be positioned so that the weight is evenly distributed on your hips. We will now demonstrate donning in the standing position. With the air pack X3 seated on the ground and the cylinder facing towards you, pick up the SCBA and swing it behind you as if you were putting on a coat. While leaning slightly forward, pull down on the shoulder straps to position the SCBA comfortably on your back. Connect the male and female waist belt buckles, 
and adjust the waist belt to fit firmly on your hips. Readjust the shoulder straps as necessary to ensure that they are not too tight. Proper adjustment should permit both vertical and lateral movement of the shoulders and arms. The Airpac X3 comes equipped with a standard waist belt complete with a seat belt style buckle connection. As an alternative, the Airpac X3 may also be configured with the EasyScape Pro belt, which utilizes a quick release buckle and integrated D-ring design. To don the face piece, start with the head harness pulled forward over the face piece lens. With the chin positioned in the chin cup area and the face seal resting against your face, grab the positioning tab and pull the head harness over your head. Make sure the face piece and head harness are centered on your head. Tighten the neck straps evenly, one at a time. Continue donning by tightening the temple straps. Lastly, snug up the top center strap, taking care not to over tighten. If necessary, re-tighten the straps to ensure a proper fit. To begin operation, locate the Easy Flow regulator and ensure that the air saver switch is properly engaged. Reach around and rotate the cylinder valve hand wheel counterclockwise. The pack alert distress alarm will emit a three-tone chirp. The vibra alert low air alarm will activate momentarily and the heads up display lights will initialize. With the red purge knob facing in the 12 o'clock position, connect the Easy Flow regulator to the AV3000 HT face piece by aligning the flats of the regulator with the flats of the face piece lens and rotating counterclockwise. The Easy Flow regulator is designed for first breath activation. The heads up display operation is defined by a series of lights on the regulator. Two green lights indicate full cylinder pressure. One green light indicates three quarter cylinder pressure. A flashing amber light indicates one half cylinder pressure. A flashing red light indicates one-third cylinder pressure or emergency air. The Airpac X3 electronics have been designed with buddy lights to assist with nonverbal team communication. These lights provide status notification of the SCBA wearer. The console is equipped with a LED to provide status of the pass device. During normal operation, the LED will flash green. Should the pass device activate, the LED will change to red. For those SCBA configured with SEMS 2, a separate status light will flash either amber or green, indicating if the SCBA is within range of the base station. A new feature on the console is an external heads-up display, which changes color based on the remaining air supply in the cylinder. It will follow the same color sequence as the heads-up display in the mask-mounted regulator. The sensor module is equipped with dual buddy lights located on either side of the module. During normal operation, the lights will flash green once every three seconds. If the pass device activates, the lights will change to red, flashing in an alternating pattern for pre-alarm, and changing to a simultaneous flashing for full alarm. A new feature of the Airpac X3 electronics is the incorporation of a pass device notification in the heads-up display. During pre-alarm activation, the heads-up display lights will toggle in a wigwag pattern to notify you of alarm activation. When the SCBA cylinder reaches 33% emergency air, the Airpac X3 will provide multiple alarm notifications. The Vibra Alert activates providing you with a tactile and audible alert. The heads-up display flashes red, providing you a visual indication. For team member communication, the external HUD displays red and the sensor module buddy lights will flash orange in an alternating pattern. To terminate use of your Airpac X3, close the cylinder valve hand wheel by pushing in and rotating clockwise. Prior to removing the cylinder, it is important to bleed the system of any remaining air. Rotate the purge knob clockwise 
to bleed any residual air. To disengage and release the snap chain cylinder, pull on both latches at the same time. As an added safety measure, the cylinder latches cannot be pulled unless all air pressure has been bled from the system. This concludes your AirPack X3 quick start video. This video has been produced by Scott Safety in order to familiarize you with your new Scott AirPack X3 SCBA. For further instruction on the use of the AirPack X3, please refer to the operating and maintenance instructions provided with the SCBA. Should you have any questions or concerns, please contact your authorized Scott representative.